Today I would like to share with all of you my electric clavichord. I've been working on this project since roughly October 2022, and at the beginning of August I reached a point where the instrument could be played, although I'd hesitate to call it completed because I intend to add the final notes on top. The first stage involved building the frame and the soundboard, as well as the headstock. I was fortunate to acquire cheap guitar hardware and electronics from two build-your-own Les Paul kits, which I used to the fullest extent possible. Initially, I planned for four octaves. This would have required four notes fretted on each string, which would have prevented playing minor and some major thirds on roughly the bottom octave or so. In the first stage of construction, the action was what gave me the most trouble. My initial idea hinged on gluing the strikers to a small piece of metal rod which I could bend either direction to achieve the correct intonation. This proved unworkable, so I settled on 3D printing pieces that would fit inside the keys and strike the string at the correct length. Another issue was strings. The four octave clav would have required some sort of custom made strings as it was too long for guitar strings. In order to make the project as a whole more manageable, I cut off an octave and opted to use guitar strings. At this point, I simply worked key by key to achieve the correct fretting until I was unable to use the 3D printed parts as the frets got too close together.
The final issue was damping. I had initially made a damper that sits on top of the keys using leftover felt from refelting my roads. However, this was not sufficient and allowed a lot of ringing. I settled on a very soft car wash towel that I ran between the strings. The final step was to Tolex the exterior. Additionally, I used old latches and a handle that I had replaced on my fender roads. The action is quite easy to play, although it feels significantly different than traditional piano action or synth action, and I'm still getting used to it. The fretting makes it impossible to play most half steps and roughly half of the whole steps on the keyboard. The instrument is almost inaudible acoustically. I will be posting more content, including this collab, as well as my other projects, including the Wurlitzer, um, Hammond, and my Rhodes, so please do subscribe to this channel. If you enjoyed this video, you should also check out my band, Garden Variety, which I will link in the description. Thanks everyone for watching.